heavy rain battered the Portuguese capital on Tuesday, December 13th, flooding tunnels, sweeping away cars, and forcing authorities to suspend bus and tram services and close some main roads. The Lisbon mayor's office put the city on a red weather warning at around 6:30 a.m. GMT and urged people to stay home and avoid commuting to the capital and the estuary of the Tagus River. In the municipality of Oeiras, shops were shuttered and one tunnel was submerged in flood water. Since midnight, emergency services have reported 275 incidents in Lisbon and the neighboring Setubal district, including flooded streets, tunnels, and train stations. Some shops and restaurants were semi-submerged. Civil Protection Commander Andre Fernandez told a news conference it would not be easy to return the situation to normal as the rainfall was likely to intensify. The mayor's office said city buses and trams were not operating, the metro was not fully functioning, and a number of train stations were inaccessible due to flooding. Adverse weather conditions also brought Lisbon's metropolitan area to a standstill last Wednesday when one person died in a flooded basement. Heavy rain also hit other parts of the country on Tuesday, with weather agency IPMA declaring a red alert in the central district of Porto Alegre. Today is a day to stay at home, work from home, a little bit like we did during the pandemic, IPMA Chief Miguel Miranda told SIC Television. It's the only way we can help those working to help us in the streets. Lisbon City Hall has been criticized for failing over the years to build infrastructure to prevent flooding. Mayor Carlos Moedas said work to build a 5-kilometer or 3-mile drainage tunnel should start soon. 